KSBW weather. This is Phil Frame in for Art Jared, and this was the scene a little while ago. Looking down from the beach boardwalk, I'm going to bring you up to the latest image, and you can see the low clouds have intruded further. They're going to roll in tonight again, like they did last night. And temperatures today, well, they reflected it. It was cooler just about everywhere. We had only 60s and 70s in the Santa Cruz County area today. And in the Monterey area, we had only upper 50s to 60s today. And it was also cooler here in the Salinas Valley, 64 only, the high Today here in Salinas to 77 in King City and in the Santa Clara Valley, it was cooler as well. Highs in the 70s. If we take a look at our latest visible satellite image, you can see that the low clouds are already starting to move in and temperatures are starting to respond. Currently only 59 degrees here in Salinas, 66 in San Jose, Paso Robles at 70. And if we pull back further, you can see that we do have a low pressure area, upper level low pressure area offshore, and then we have this cold front well offshore. And this low pressure area is bringing in the onshore flow, and you can see the low clouds and fog. The marine layer has returned, and it's not a, as big as it would be in the summer. This is a smaller version, but we're going to be seeing more of this. And in fact, for the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing it, so we're going to call it stratus quo through Tuesday, but then after Tuesday, the marine layer is going to mix out, and I'm going to show you why. Here is the situation according to Futurecast tomorrow morning, and you can see we have the low clouds and the fog, but what's going to happen is we're going to see an upper level low pressure area intensify, drop down. This is going to mix out the marine layer so that it's actually going to warm up right along the coast on Wednesday. It's going to be warmer then than it is expected to be tomorrow or Tuesday. And with that, we'll also see a slight chance of a few sprinkles. So we got that in the forecast, but if you get anything, it's not going to be much, and most people aren't going to get anything at all. Low pressure area will kick out by Friday, but the marine layer will still be mixed out because the upper level winds will still be strong enough to keep it mixed out. For the next th day, actually for tomorrow, you can expect the temperatures in the San Francisco Bay Area to be in the 50s and 60s after the low clouds clear off. If they clear off, they'll probably persist along the coast. And for the Santa Clara Valley, it'll be a little bit cooler. Highs upper 60s to mid 70s once the sun comes out. It's also going to be a bit cooler over the southern part of the Salinas Valley tomorrow. Once the low clouds clear out, highs mid-60s to mid-70s. And if you're right along the coast, it's not going to get any cooler tomorrow. But it may get a little bit cooler as you get away from the coast. Carmel Valley expecting a high of 66, a little bit cooler than today. And for the Santa Cruz County area, it will be another cool one. Especially as you move into the Santa Cruz Mountains, it'll be a bit cooler under partly cloudy skies. Next seven days, inland temperatures will continue to cool through Wednesday, and then there will be a slight chance of showers, very slight chance, mainly in the inland areas, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then along the coast, we're going to see another chilly day tomorrow and Tuesday before we start to warm up, actually, Wednesday through Friday. And then again, a very slight chance of a few sprinkles along the coast Wednesday through Friday. We definitely need that rain, so fingers crossed. Yeah, we Slight need chance, it. chance, but cross we, my fingers anyway. <laughs> yeah, it won't hurt, that's for sure. <laughs> Thanks so much.